Well, hello everyone, I got another Bible review for you here. Our friends at Sondervan have sent me this new international version, Heritage Bible, with uh, what they call Passaggio setting. This uh, Passaggio term comes from the world of classical singing. What it does is describes the shift a performer makes between vocal registers. Passaggio setting Bibles shift between the visual beauty and clarity of a highly readable single column text for prose and uh, a clean double column text for poetry, elegantly uniting single and double columns in one Bible. This unique use of columns enhances natural readability while also allowing for more efficient use of the page. Now, the design concept was developed in partnership with 2K Denmark, the world's foremost Bible typeface foundry. And this is what Klaus Krog, which is the founder and CEO of 2K Denmark, said. We hope innovative interfaces like the Passaggio setting will help more people engage in longer and deeper reading. So, this new international version, as well as the new American standard uh, Passaggio setting, are going to feature a deluxe two-color line matched a page design, a larger print size, and a more generous margin. Uh, the paper is at 36 GSM and is gonna come with. Uh, they're gonna come with a family record section. So let's get into it, shall we? Uh, this one came this very sturdy and nice box, and here you're gonna see all the different features. Uh, it comes with the complete text of the new international version 2011 uh, with the passage setting. I'm going to show you now what that looks like. It has two color line matched uh, page design. It's, a concept, it's kind of a dark uh, blue and uh, kind of gold highlights for headings and, and uh, page numbers and, and book names. It comes with eight pages of full color maps. Uh, that 36 GSM paper is a premium European Bible paper, which is amazing. I just love it. And the uh, two satin ribbon markers. It comes with a Sondervan NAV comfort print that, and a 10 point font. Well, let's take a look at this. The, the box is a, is, a, is a clamshell, as you can see. And uh, it also tells you here that it lays flat. So let's take a look at this. So this is the Bible itself. And as you can see, it comes with a very nice uh, leather soft cover imitating real leather. And I have to say, this fake leather doesn't look like fake leather. I mean, I'm amazed. Check that out. The grain of this thing. The texture, the tones, the hue. Everything looks amazing to me. I mean, I have to say, I rather have this type of covers than that kind of bonded uh, leather that they used to produce. Uh, this one, I believe, is amazing. Now, this pine comes with uh, one, two, three, four gold git lines working working as dividers. You've got a holy bible in this kind of square gold foil as well. And you have around the bottom the NIV and Zondervan's logo. Smooth, classy, simple. I like it. It has perimeter stitching all around. As you can see here, it comes with two ribbons, one brown and one gold. Pretty, pretty nice length. I, I like the length of this. Sometimes they're too short. This is this is a decent length. Now, this is not a leather lined edition, which means that the liner here is just plain cardstock, just a thick piece of uh, paper. So here we can see also that this is a Smithson text block. You can see there are very little stitches here. This is going to hold together all these pages for, for a long lasting period of time we got here the table of contents in gold bold font then we got here the books of the bible in a dark blue and uh, some extra information here like uh, miracles of jesus parables of jesus perspectives from the bible prayers of the bible promises from the bible and a reading plan the books of the bible in alphabetical order publisher's preface 
this I'm just unliking it. It's very easy in the eye. Like this dark blue with the gold, I think it's just amazing. Okay, so texture basis. Let's begin in here with Genesis. And you're gonna have the title of the books in a very large dark blue, like in this case, and then the headings in gold. And then the text is gonna be in this case, you can see there's a paragraph format, one single column. Okay, the nice space all around, very easy in the eye, excellent reading experience. I think this paper is just amazing. I'm just blown away. And then you got in gold the book numbers and, and chapter numbers here on the side in a vertical way, which is new to me, but I kind of like it. And the page numbers down the bottom. Translator's notes, as you can see right here, you have a fine, very fine line in gold as well, separating the translator's notes from the actual biblical text. And here's an example of uh, what this is all about. You have here like a paragraph format, single column text, but then it jumps to a verse like this in a, in, in a two column, okay, format. And here happens again, you can see that, in between two paragraphs in a single column format and that's what this is all about let's take a look here we go it does it again you have here the single column very easy to read and then it jumps from this formatting to the two column formatting which is what makes this formatting unique this is the new setting let's go through a little bit further down you can see here that that's gonna happen. So when you have all these texts, you're gonna see, here we go, that happens again right here. There's gonna be places where you have just one format or the other, like in this case, see that? You got a bit of uh, prose format and then you have kind of poetry format. There we go. That's what this is all about. I have to say, this is new to me, but I kind of like it. I I, I, I do. I mean, I wouldn't use this Bible, for example, for for uh, studying, but, but for reading purposes or devotionals, things like that. I, I think this is just spot on. I really enjoy this. Look at this. The ghosting is minimal. I mean, this paper is amazing. It doesn't feel too thin. It's not too thick. It's just the perfect kind of uh, uh, GSM for, for a quality paper. Why? Wow, I, I really enjoyed this. Now, the New Testament, you are gonna find that this is just also like the plain navy blue lettering there's no red letters here see that's i love it just just amazing i like it this this is just wow very you know what it relaxes my eyes i don't know i don't feel my eyes strained by any means i mean i can feel this is a this is going to be a very easy to read bible not just because of the formatting, not just because of the large font, not just because the paper is amazing, not just because it's, there's minimal ghosting, not just because it's line matched, but also because of the color of, of the text is very soothing. Um, I don't know how to put it. It's, uh, I don't think I can get tired easily by reading this type of color, this font in this color. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can also see how much margin we have around uh, the pages you can use this easily to have your own notes prayers cross-referencing wow I really like this and yeah definitely lays flat as you can see here I'm not I mean I used this a little bit before I, I did the review uh, it was a bit stiff at the beginning, but within five minutes, the whole thing just basically melted on my hand. It 
it just became kind of butter. So right now, let me show you this. This thing, look at that. It's very flexible right now. And uh, yeah, definitely this is gonna lay flat. See that? Bam. Doesn't matter where it go. Look at how flat that lays. Even here in the beginning. That's because of the cover, but still we're just in Genesis 1. Sorry, this can one bit one more page. This is Genesis 1 and it stays open. Amazing. Now this one has a gold gilding on the spine on, on the pages, but it's not the the I don't know how to say it. it's not it's not the kind of glossy type of gold is a kind of matte gold is something different I don't under, I don't know how to say how to explain it. it doesn't feel like it's been sprayed but it's definitely a different type of foil for the for this gold so it looks like kind of lighter and and uh, matte type of finish to it let me show you something for comparison purposes. Okay, this is for example a gold from Thomas Nelson. And uh, in this case this gold, well this Bible has a, a red underneath, okay, but I just want to show you the gold is very kind of uh, uh, shiny and reflective, while this one is matte, you see that? There you go, you can see the difference right there. The one on the left is more reflective, the one on the right is kind of avoiding that reflection somehow. Um, I wish this gold would be more kind of this one, but it's not a deal breaker to me. And then if we go to the end of this Bible, let's take a look. We're gonna find here's the reading plan. We're gonna find the table of weights and measures right here. Miracles of Jesus, parables of Jesus, perspectives from the Bible. It all helps you know to get through. Do you struggle with laziness? <laughs> Are you jealous? Are you angry? So here are some of the verses in the scripture that can help you with that. Prayers of the Bible. I love this kind of stuff. Oh, when you find prayers in the Bible and you apply them to your own life, that's amazing. That's just amazing. I love this. Promises of from the Bible, also great help. And then you got the reading plan right here with the, for each book of the Bible, you got a chapter. Okay, and a box to tick. And uh, that's up the Old and the New Testament right here. And then we have the maps. Oh, sorry, that's the note regarding the, the type. That basically is telling you that uh, Zonderbrand got this from um, 2K Denmark. And here we got the, the maps in full color in a kind of uh, glossy cardstock um, I would rather have this in, in thick paper or, you know like a bible paper rather than, than this kind of glossy cardstock but I agree with my friend Bo Tays you know about on this matter on this issue and you can see here the stitches looks nice on text block and that's the liner again so that's that here we got the ISBN I'll put a direct link down below in the description box for you in case you would like to buy this edition and uh, that's it that's the new international version heritage Bible 
Passaggio setting. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please drop us a line down below and, and I'll try to help you out with that. And really, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next Bible review or Rewind. Until then, I pray you stay safe and be blessed. Shalom.